Welcome to Breakthrough Communications. every genre of music from sacred to secular. The question is, how did we get there? Today's show, All That Jazz, will trace the development of jazz music from its African rhythm traditions to its European classical influences, all intertwining on U.S. soil to create that music form that we know as jazz. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Michael Taylor. And I am Constance Ridley-Smith. Today we will share with you a performance of Baroque and Blue composed by Claude Bowling in his first suite for flute and jazz piano trio. Baroque and Blue contains several genres of music. For instance, the flautist has to perform trios of Baroque music and syncopated rhythms of ragtime music. For this work, Claude Bolin became known as the king of crossover between classical and jazz. We will start with a timeline, a timeline that will trace the development of jazz music from its African traditions, rhythms, and vocal inflections to its classically influenced music traditions. Young African-American pianists learned the traditions of African music rhythms and vocal inflections from their homes and their communities. They expressed it on piano. And when European classically trained musicians migrated to America, they were actually marveling at the young African American pianists and decided that they could impart something that could refine uh, their musical expression on piano. 
And so they taught them scales. They taught them theory. They even taught them classical literature. And thereby, the African traditions and the European traditions combined seamlessly and created the art form known as jazz. In 1973, Corlick Bowden bought a folk center when he composed the suite for flute and jazz piano. And now, the timeline.
It all started, you know, with the blues. Blues, riffs, scales, and turnarounds, and the rhythms of syncopation, stride bass, and ragtime. Uh, my friend Stefan Trenikins is going to perform Blues in C, and I'm going to follow with a few piano renditions that will highlight some of the stride bass and ragtime that form jazz. crossover between classical and jazz music, then certainly our next performer, James Merriweather, could be viewed as the king of crossover between spiritual and jazz. He uses jazz and blues idioms, fill-ins, turnarounds, and scales to create a very fascinating but also uplifting 
musical performance of traditional hymns. The first piece that we will hear by James Merriweather is Precious Lord. Thomas Dorsey's Precious Lord has been performed in over 40 languages and now it's going to be translated to again another language, the language of jazz by James Merriweather as he performs for us. <laughs> of the time, such as Ma Rainey, but when he had a spiritual awakening in the late 1920s and came to the church, he brought the blues with him, and so therefore blues and gospel became intertwined by the influence of Thomas A. Dorsey. Thomas Dorsey is credited with once having said that the only difference between blues and gospel is the lyrics. And I tend to agree, because music notes don't know in and of themselves if they're going to be sacred or secular, or if they're going to be rendered for church music, or even any denomination in particular. It is up to the skillful musician to interpret the music for the listener. But it is also even more critical a role that the lyricist has, because he or she assigns more value and specific value to the music being rendered.
If you enjoyed those renditions by James Merriweather, please visit our VideoNexus.net page so that you can learn how to download some of his MP3s and CD if you prefer that showcases his spiritual jazz. Our final segment is going to feature some of today's modern jazz performers. Carlton Taylor has performed extensively in America with country music musicians uh, in Tennessee, on cruise ships, musical director for many of the large cruise lines, and he is now performing extensively in Tennessee uh, in local venues. So we're going to be favored with that selection, paintings. You'll hear Carlton's uh, jazz piano style and the use of quartal harmonies, another idiom from the jazz tradition.
for being a part of today's show. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you'll stay with us on future programming. Visit us on YouTube, Constance Ridley Smith, and also our website to find products by each one of these musicians.